as just a regular photographer, I probably would have gone out and just photographed the eclipse on a whim. But because I am a part of the mega movie and I am contributing, I feel that my standards need to be higher. And so it's motivated me to educate myself exactly on what to expect in every aspect and practice to make sure that I'm confident on that day to capture it. I'm Jesse Dinas from Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, and we clean windows, and I'm a photographer. I wanted to be more than just going out and, and shooting the eclipse, which hundreds of thousands of people are going to be doing. If I can contribute in any way, I think that's uh, fantastic, and I'm also learning a lot. We're in a time frame, and so there's a, there's a pinch where either going to hit or miss these three second intervals of these events that are going to happen between C1 and, and C2 and C3 and C4. Um, of course, C2 and C3 being the more important shots um, with Bailey's beads and, and the diamond effect. And then we're also going to be looking for the shadow wave uh, that might happen during totality or right before uh, complete totality. I'm looking forward to the changes around us in the environment um, during totality. Um, I'm interested in how our dogs are going to react. I'm interested in how the temperature is going to drop. Um, and I am especially looking forward to that shadow wave. As a window cleaner, we've always paid attention to the weather and I don't trust the weather forecast. It's typically wrong. It's showing partly cloudy for up where we're going to be and I actually hope for some cloud because I think that it makes for great images of the eclipse if there's some cloud up there. Um, obviously we don't want to cover it, but you can hope. Just wait until the eclipse is happening you're going to see hundreds of people all looking at the sky with those on.